Hey everyone, it's Laura from the blog ourearlyhouse.com and today I'm doing another what we eat in a week video. This one's a little bit special because it is the first cook with me video that I'm doing here in my new kitchen at my new house. For the first meal, we had brisket, twice baked potatoes, and roasted broccoli. I made a brisket rub just with some different spices and put that on the brisket before I put it in my crock pot. In my crock pot, I added in some minced garlic and a little bit of apple cider vinegar and some barbecue sauce. I like this Primo Kitchen barbecue sauce. It is Whole30 approved and made with all good ingredients. I added in my brisket and just let this slow cook all day long. When it was getting close to dinner time, I baked some potatoes, mixed it with some sour cream and some salt and pepper and a little bit of milk and butter. When the brisket was finished, I just sliced it open. You can see just how tender the brisket is after cooking it in the crock pot several hours throughout the day. And I served this with the twice baked potatoes and some roasted broccoli. For the second night, I made a keto Zupa Toscano soup. It's kind of like the soup from Olive Garden, but it is a keto version, and here I have my Keto Instapot cookbook. This video is actually sponsored by Paleo Hacks, and this is their cookbook that they have. It has so many wonderful recipes in here. I cannot wait to try some more. So I'm going to link this cookbook down in my description box if you wanna check it out. So to start off this recipe, I chopped up some bacon and cooked it on the sauteed mode in the Instapot. When the bacon was finished, I just removed it from the pot and I left all the drippings in there and browned some sausage with lots of different spices. Again, I got all of this just out of that cookbook. So if you want the exact recipe, I'll have the cookbook linked for you in the description box below. So in this recipe, we're using cauliflower instead of potato to make it keto friendly. Once the sausage was all browned, I added in some chicken broth, the cauliflower and onion, and a few handfuls of kale. I just cooked this on the soup mode for three minutes and then added in some coconut milk and the bacon back in and I stirred it and this made a delicious hearty soup.
next meal we had fajita taco salads. I started off by slicing up some steak that I actually had left over from a previous meal, some tomatoes, some bell peppers, and some onions. I served this over a bed of spring mix and added some diced tomatoes, sliced avocados, fresh cheddar cheese, and salsa and sour cream. For the next meal, we had some lemon cream fish. This was so good, so I just put some raw fish into a nine by 13 baking pan, and then I made a lemon cream sauce with some butter, some cream, salt and pepper, a little bit of Dijon mustard, and some lemon juice. While the fish was baking, I made a homemade dressing because I wanted to serve this with a side salad. I just pour all the ingredients into a mason jar, then put the lid on and shake it up to combine all the ingredients. I served the fish over some steamed rice and then drizzled it in the lemon cream sauce and then served it with the honey Dijon side salad. For the next meal, we had shrimp smothered sirloins. And so I started off by slicing up some onions and mushrooms and sauteing it in some butter.
topped my sirloins with the shrimp and I served this with the french fries, sauteed zucchini, and some sauerkraut. On this morning, I got some bone broth going for our meal later on that night. I make my bone broth right in my Instapot by using some bones, a little bit of apple cider vinegar, and some peppercorn and a bay leaf, and then I cover everything with some water, and I let this simmer throughout the day to get the nice, healthy gelatin off of the bones. I decided to make some tortilla chicken soup with my bone broth, so I sauteed some chicken in my cast iron skillet, chopped that up, and then I diced up some peppers and onions to saute to put inside of my soup. Once my bone broth was done, I added in some black beans, some canned tomatoes, my chicken, my sauteed onions and peppers, and a bag of frozen corn. And then I just topped it with some sour cream, diced avocado, fresh cilantro, and some tortilla chips. For the next meal, we had breakfast for dinner. I just started off by sauteing some mushrooms, red bell peppers, and some onions in my cast iron skillet. While those were sauteing, I sliced up some organic chicken sausage that I added into the veggie mixture. so much for watching this video as always I hope it gave you some new meal inspiration if you are new here please be sure to hit that subscribe button I get out two new videos every week I share a lot of from scratch cook with me videos and also a lot of natural DIY projects with essential oils like natural skincare and hair care and things like that so if you're new I would love for you to stick around and I'll see you all in my next video